To Brevard County tonight, where 295 more homes on the Indian River Lagoon will be converting their septic tanks to a sewer line. Since Brevard voters approved a half penny sales tax increase, the county has made thousands of conversions to improve water quality. Now, one of the neighborhoods on the new list is Milford Point Drive by the Merritt Island Walmart. News 6's James Barbero is learning about what's making this project more difficult and costing more than expected. It's always nice to catch up with Craig Wallace of the Indian River Lagoon Coalition. Beautiful day on the lagoon, Craig, to talk about preserving, restoring the estuary. Now, I know you'll say since 2016 that lagoon sales tax has helped get results. But when it comes to converting septic to sewer, it sounds like there's suddenly some unexpected challenges you're running into that's also beneath the surface. Could you talk about that? So, unfortunately, Merritt Island is built on coquina rock. This was a problem because they need to get down fairly deep in order to put the sewer line in. So when they ran into a rock, they said, uh-oh, we got to do something different here. So they had to basically redesign the system, stop the work. And yesterday, the commission approved paying for those cost overruns. So you must be encouraged to see that the county is willing to support spending more money where needed. Yeah, that was encouraging because we were really questioning when, that, when this issue came up. This area, like I say, is such a sensitive area because it's got the lagoon on both sides of the street. So it's a, they really need to get this job done. So in the neighborhood of these couple hundred of homes that will make the conversion, I found Jane. She's been on septic for the 35 years she's lived Correct. on the street. Are you looking forward to making the transition? I am. I think it will help the lagoon, and I'm looking forward to being able to redo my yard after they do it. <laughs> do you think there's been a difference on cleaning up the lagoon? Um, you see some, it firsthand. Yes, somewhat, yes, with some dredging and things, yeah. What's your hope for the lagoon for the future? That it's cleaner, <laughs> uh, less polluted, less grass clippings, less fertilizer. For Jane and anyone interested in healing the polluted lagoon, Craig's group is holding a free event that will update the public on these projects. And you can get all the details on ClickOrlando.com. I'll attach them to this story. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.